What's going on team, it's Kenny, back again with another episode of the Stephen Adrota Glory and it's the last episode of the season, it's all about the FA Cup I'm not too concerned about the Premier League now Mathematically, we are finishing 7th, we can't go down to 8th, Everton can't catch us and we can't catch Arsenal So I'm going to be simming a couple of the games in the Premier League, especially this one against West Ham Not too concerned about this, what I am concerned about though before we do finish the Premier League is... Semenyo getting that golden boot yet again so we're going to be looking at him to bag a few goals before we do get in that FA Cup final so we're going to be playing Arsenal as well so we have got a game against Arsenal and I'm going to play that one just because I'm going to be looking to keep Lukaku out I don't want him to bag a few goals against Wayne in that one so that is what we're going to be doing but yes the main event of this episode is going to be that game against Manchester City can we lift that FA Cup trophy there's only one way to find out, and that's to get straight into this episode. So looking at West Ham's last results, they've won against Southampton, the loss against Spurs, and the loss against Crystal Palace. So if they're losing against Crystal Palace, our team should be beating them surely. So let's see what the lads can do for an early kickoff. You know, it's always a dangerous game. We've drawn 2-2, two -two, but I'm not too concerned, like I say, because Super Semenyo has bagged himself a goal there, which is the most important thing. Let's see what that's done, if Lukaku's picked up any more goals as well. There you go, Super Semenyo is three goals ahead now. What we'll do, because we haven't done it for a little bit of time, we'll get some training for the lads here. As you can see, Van der Voort, he's pushing for that 84 rating. I think he will be 84 going into next season. Ricky J. Jones, he's pushing for that 79. But the, the man that we're going to be looking at here is Max Robinson. He's up to a 66. I'm hoping he's going to be in, I don't know, roughly early 70s for when we start next season because I am going to be looking to use him a little bit. But the lads, they're doing well. Dest is up to an 80 now, which is decent. Juarez up to a 75. He had an absolutely fantastic episode when we played Liverpool. Absolutely fantastic. But what we're going to do now is we're going to get into this game against Arsenal. It is going to be the only game that we'll play in the Premier League. So come on, Semenyo. Show Lukaku how it's done. We've got the advantage of being at home in this one. So Semenyo, he's going to want to put a decent show on for the home fans. I know he's going to. I know for a fact he's going to. Lukaku, though, he's only three goals behind Super Semenyo. If he gets anything like a hard trick in this one, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. It'll all come down to the last game of the season. But I think it should be fine. It should be totally fine. I don't know what we're concerned about. I mean, we haven't got anything to play for. And sometimes that's when you play the best. But, I mean, Lukaku, he's only projected 28 goals. So, there you go. There you go. I don't think Super Semenyo is going to be breaking that record of 32 this season, which is unfortunate. But... There's always next season. There is always next season. I have changed a couple of things up in regards to the team as well. We've got Saka and also Iwusu playing on the wings. A couple of the lads were feeling it. We've brought out Graven Birch and we've put in Ferreira because he's been playing absolutely fantastic. So Matty and Ferreira in the centre of the park. Iwusu, Palacios, Saka on the wings. And then you've got Semenyo up top. To me, I think that team can do it. I reckon we can do it. Redmond. Looking to get the ball in. Sibitza makes it 1-0. <sighs> Yet again, not great from the lads there. Like, Sibitza, no, he's decent. He's made repair. The only saving grace in this is that it wasn't Lukaku. But Arsenal getting the cross in. Lukaku did get the assist there. It was on the volley. We're 1-0 down. How are lads? You need to sort this out, man. Come on. For the cross. Redmond played it out in Didi. It's looking dangerous. Sabitza. He's brought him down. You've got to be kidding me, son. Is he going off? Is he going off here? What's going on? Just a talking to Canada, though. Yet again. It seems weak, but. It's going to be Lukaku stepping up, isn't it? It's going to be Lukaku stepping up. Oh, it's not. It's Pepe. Thank God for that. We're going to go left. We're going to go left. And he's missed. Come on, son. Come on. There we go. That's how we're going to end the half. We're still in this. We'll be looking for an equaliser in the second half, 100%. But that man has been the difference. Marcel Sabitzer putting Arsenal 1-0 up. Nathan Redmond has been an absolute nightmare on the wing. Messed up there, though. Come on. Oh, I'm about messing up. That's me. Lukaku Sabitzer. 
Van der Voort, great save, mate. Great save. Sabitza, Lukaku, Brown getting that block in for it. Well done, son. Ferreira to Matty. Matty, back to Ferreira. Come on, run at them a bit here, son. What you got? Super Semenyo hasn't really played too well this game. Ferreira, though, looking for the equaliser. Come on, son. Come on. Ferreira makes it 1-1. He's an absolute beast. We've changed things up. We've brought Graven Birch on. Ferreira went into with attack, a centre attack in mid position. And Palacios did come off. And maybe it's been the move that we need to make because Ferreira makes it 1 1. And we're back in this game. Arsenal are looking for a late winner here. Matty, not good enough. Kana has been able to get that away, but it's only out as far as to Genduzi and Ketia, who's just come on for Lukaku. Luckily, getting the block in. Come on, Sun van der Voort. Clearing it. Looking oh, it's looking dangerous, like, but Kana. Did get the block in. He did cost with a penalty in the first half, which they didn't capitalise on, luckily. But he's kept winning it there. He has kept winning it. And Arsenal, this has got to be the last attack of the game, surely. Will be a good point, especially against a decent Arsenal team. What they've got, though. Pepe whipping the ball at the box. Brown has been able to get that away. Ferreira doesn't make a difference, though. And there you have it. It's ended 1-1. Pretty even contest, if you ask me. Neither Lukaku or Super Semenyo getting on the score sheet, though. Is it going to be enough for him? I'm hoping so, like I am hoping so. Yeah, we'll go then. Last game of the season. It doesn't really make much difference. I mean, what does matter is Super Semenyo getting that golden boot. So I'm hoping he's going to be getting a couple of goals in this one just to make sure he's going to be getting it. But I am just going to sim it. It's going to be with the first team because I am going to be saving the second team for the final in the FA Cup. I said that I would go through the full tournament with the second team, and that's exactly what we've done. I'm going to put the faith in the likes of Ferreira and Fritzen, who played absolutely amazing against Liverpool. If we can do that again, you've got to believe that we're going to be lifting that trophy. But we'll see what the lads can do here. Nottingham Forest are rock bottom, so are we going to be able to beat them? We should be. It's just by how much. Look at that. Gelhart picking up two goals. Super Semenyo picking up a goal as well. He's ended the season on 30 goals. What an achievement for the lad. Shame he wasn't able to pick up that record, but we can always look to do that next season. Now, what we're going to be doing is getting in this game against Manchester City. Like I said, it's the main event. Can we do it? I am hoping so. Here it is then. FA Cup final. Wembley Stadium. It's going to be an absolutely massive game. We're going up against Manchester City, who went unbeaten in the Premier League. But if we can play anything like we did against Liverpool, I think the lads could do it. There he is, the wild one, leading the team out. That's what it's all about, though. I think that would look absolutely amazing in our trophy cabinet. The lads, though, they've had one hell of a journey to get here. Beating the likes of Chelsea. We've beaten Liverpool. We deserve this. We deserve this. It would be an absolutely amazing thing to end the season on a high of lifting that FA Cup trophy. But it's not going to be easy because Manchester City, they've got one hell of a team. They've kept on to some amazing players. Bernardo Silva still there. Raheem Sterling. Jesus is still there. They've got Eriksen, as you can see. It's going to be difficult. But that's what it was all about. The lads need to put in the performance of a lifetime. Ferreira played Masengo. Oh, my God. We're in straight away. Fritz in to make it 1-0. Fritzen, come on, son. Oh, my God. We're not even three minutes in the game. Fritzen making it 1-0. Oh, we've dealt a blow to Manchester City here. Could this be the start of something magical for we here? It'll be amazing in front of the Wembley crowd. What a ball through, though. Fritzen not cracking under the pressure. Slotting it away. It's 1-0. Come on, lads. Oh, that kid. He's come good when we've needed him. He has come good when we've needed him. Manchester City are looking for a response. It's Bernardo Silva. Bit of skill. De Bruyne. What a save from Bazzuno. And again. Oh, my God. He's having a game of his life as well. Come on, son. Fritzen, not the best for to Ferreira, but Ferreira has been able to send Saka. Could this be the perfect counter? Saka. Come on, son. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You have a bit of a celebration, son. 2-0 up. Final of the FA Cup. Bazunu with two amazing saves. 
and Saka goes to the other end, slots it away. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Come on, lads. Come on. Suarez. Suarez. Great ball through to Fritzen, who's going to return the favour. Ferreira here. Ferreira over the top. Unfortunate for the kid there. I think he deserves a goal. He's played absolutely fantastic. But he has put it over the top. Vendel. De Bruyne. Pulls one back. Still half an hour to go. Kevin De Bruyne with a bit of magic there. Absolutely cork out of a goal. It's been all Manchester City, I must admit. I knew we couldn't keep them out all game. Oh, just... We need to hold on. That lad looks gutted, but he's had an amazing game so far. Don't be too disappointed, son. I mean, it is Kevin De Bruyne. Look at that. Absolute rocket. Ferreira. With a ball out. A Wusu here. There's only two minutes left. If we can hold on. I'll get another goal here. It's out. Blocked. We've got two minutes to hold on. But it doesn't matter because we've done it. Stevenage FA Cup winners absolutely amazing what able to hold on Kevin De Bruyne's goal wasn't enough goals from Fritzen and Saka in the first half though absolutely amazing how quick did Matty come into the screen there he's like oh I need to be a part of this absolutely sonic flying in man what is going on but we might finish seventh in the Premier League but I don't care because the lads have done it in the FA Cup absolutely amazing i never thought this would be the case that would be lifting it so early on it has took a good few seasons but still this second team has been absolutely amazing in the cup absolutely amazing and i'm glad that it's going to be the wild one that's going to be lifting this trophy he deserves it he's a club legend bazunu though he's played absolutely fantastic in this game couldn't do anything in regards to that kevin de bruyne goal but Fritzen, Ferreira, the lad Saka, amazing. But come on, look at this. There it is. Come on, lads. What a way to end the season. Absolutely smashed it. FA Cup winners, amazing. But look at Palacios there, though. Just, ah, I'm getting in on this press conference. He didn't even play in the game, man. But here you go. As for the table, though, I mean, as I said, we finished in seventh. That was expected. Well, as for the rest of the teams, Manchester City winning. Oh man, they didn't even lose a game all season, but we were able to beat them, picking up that FA Cup trophy, man, absolutely crazy, but Manchester United in second, Spurs, Arsenal and Liverpool, third, fourth and fifth, Chelsea just missing out on goal difference with 86 points as well, unfortunate for them there, bottom of the table, who's going down for Derby County, West Ham. West Ham are going down, that's a nightmare for them, and then Nottingham Forest, no surprises there. Super Semenyo did pick up the golden boot, 30 goals, absolutely amazing. Is anyone else in here? I don't think there is, no there is not unfortunately, but there you go, there you go, what can you do? But there it is, we'll have a quick look at the squad, see if there's any standouts, I don't think there realistically will be. Bazunu did play well up to a 76. Chevalier, we're going to be getting rid of him up to a 75. Van der Voort is now up to an 83. So I might keep a hold of him. He might be the goalkeeper for us. And then we'll have Bazunu in the second team. We might not need to go in for merit. Hickey up to a 75. Ortega, 78. Anyone else that's sticking out here? Kana is up by three. Brown up to a 79. Very hit and miss season for him, I must admit. We've got Nathan Wood, who I'm probably going to look to sell on. Juarez is up by six. Did play fantastic up to a 75 now. Tanganga is up to a 76 as well. Dest, amazing for 3.8 million, up by 5, 80 rated overall. The wild one, he's up by 2. We might look to sell him on, unfortunately, but he did get the lift there for your Cup trophy. What more do you want? Exciting prospect, Saka though, 80 rated overall, up by 2. Decent season from that kid. Millard is up to a 75. Graven Birch up to a 78. Misengo, 77. Ollie Harrison is up by 5, up to a 68. Fair dues. Matty Longstaff, he's up by four. Back end of the season, he didn't play too great, but I'll, I'll keep a hold of him. I'll keep a hold of the lad. As for the rest of the lads, Palacios, best player in the team, 89 rated overall, up by five. Absolutely unreal. Carbonero didn't play him too much. Might look to either loan him out or sell him on potentially next season. Iwusu played absolutely amazing forward, though, up by four, up to an 80 now. Gelhart, 
He's up by three, up to a 77. Still has potential to be special. You've got Bitter up by two. He's up to a 77 as well. He's still got that potential to be special as well. We've got Max Robinson. That's the lad I'm going to be putting all the work into. If we can get him into the team, man, absolutely fantastic. We can even look to sell one of our other wingers on, potentially. Potentially. But as for striker-wise... Ricky J. Jones didn't play too much, but up by six. Absolutely fantastic. Super Semenyo, 79 rated, 30 goals in the Premier League. Absolutely amazing. He will not be going anywhere. This lad might be, though, list. He's only a 71 rated. He's 26. I think he might have had his time at Stevenage now. He's not going to be getting any form of game time, especially if we're going into Europe next season. Ferreira, though, up by three. Has that special something? You are not wrong about that. Absolutely amazing. So glad that we brought that kid into the team. And then you've got Fritzen. He's got potential to be special now. 77 rated overall. He's up by four. Absolutely fantastic. But we're all going to be leaving things there. So if you have enjoyed this episode, drop a like. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Join KO United. But as always, I'll see you in the next one.